futures are hanging in like a champ. Uh, I didn't get the sell off like everybody expected. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Oh, I hate this Finviz and all their ads nowadays. Gold and silver seem to be sliding, and we do have a slight bid in the crude oil again. Stocks and notes on my list. Tesla, uh, better than expected delivery for last quarter came out. So it's uh, catching a nice little bid. Look at it. It's it's up almost, what, eight? eight over eight dollars. We're right around eight dollars uh, pre-market here. Having a very good showing on Tesla here. Uh, Budweiser, which is a bottom fishing idea. Um, I have mentioned multiple times that uh, we have a positive divergence in on the MACD for the uh, uh, brewery index. So we might start seeing some responsive buying since the quarter end on the brewers. Exxon Mobil, when I was doing my uh, research and stuff from Friday, and I saw accumulation in this stock despite the fact that it was down Friday. And it is catching a little bit of a bid this morning. Uh, but I do think there is reason to believe that we might start seeing some money moving into the energy sector. Okay? Uh, we had very positive results out of uh, the Asian Pacific PMI data yesterday, overnight. Uh, multiple countries had very strong uh, pur purchasing managers uh, information that came out. And plus, uh, Friday, China meets with, uh, the Chinese Prime Minister meets with uh, Trump. So we do have a, another bid in Alibaba. Uh, the casinos, uh, given that data, were doing very well uh, this morning. And I have mentioned multiple times that that's uh, a rotation into that sector. Even um, LVS uh, is breaking above the cloud this morning. And then we have Wyndham Resorts, which was getting solid accumulation uh, even, yesterday, uh, even Friday in the markets. So that's something to keep on your watch. And then NVIDIA, it's uh, getting a nice little bid this morning. So keep that one in mind. And I also noticed 3M was catching a bid early in the uh, session. I don't see it on here now. Uh, okay. And then uh, some things were being uh, accumulated Friday that were very active. And that was Disney and Microsoft. So keep those on watch today. They're not showing much of a showing so far, but they were quite active into the close Friday. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start with the gaming uh, sector versus the uh, uh, XLY, the consumer discretionary. And it kind of looks like to me that we're going to start seeing uh, there's a good, there's a decent chance we're going to see the casinos start outperforming your consumer uh, cyclicals. Or consumer discretionary, I'm sorry. So just keep this mind, uh, this relationship. Uh, uh, like I said, the casinos were getting a nice little bid in the pre-market, and this is a trend as of Friday. So we could see continued rotation into those sectors. Uh, another theme that happened last week, but so far in the pre-market action, I didn't see anything standing out. We The relationship between the industrials and the restaurants... Uh, we did get a trend break last week uh, suggesting a potential uh, rotation into restaurant stocks. And we got a one week change, so just keep an eye on your uh, action uh, that there might be more monies going into restaurants. This week's going to be really important for retail. Uh, we have a really long. Uh, bottoming can't pop potential bottoming candle on retail and there is a chance that we are maybe changing our uh, rotating back into retail versus the consumer discretionary uh, it, it retails already crossed the trend on versus the spy but this one right here there is a chance this week we're going to see more monies going into retail and on the same note uh, the consumer discretionary we're potentially getting a trend change versus the SPY, suggesting that uh, consumer discretionary spending is going to start outperforming the S&P 500. So that's uh, two things to keep on watch uh, as far as the consumer is con concerned. Uh, 
the XLE energy space versus the SPY, we are right on a trend line uh, cor cor um, ratio comparison cross. This is one of the reasons I think we're going to see a bid in energy this week, especially after that solid data coming out of the Asia Pacific uh, area over the weekend. And we're going into a big China meeting into the week. So um, global markets look very bullish and we do have a nice little bid going on over in the German DAX right now uh, post Brexit. So just keep that in mind that there is reason to believe rotation into energy. Another area that's potentially giving us a bullish signal, that's the U.S. Heavy Construction Index. Uh, this has a lot to do with the infrastructure building and uh, potentially the big wall down uh, along Mexico border. And there is a potential chance here that we're going to start seeing rotation uh, back into the heavy uh, construction sector. And Caterpillar would be lumped in that uh, area. We had horrible data out of Lululemon last week. And despite that, the, uh, well, what am I here? This is the coal sector. The coal sector actually was breaking this uh, downtrend line as of uh, Friday. But after I delved into this really closely, what drove coal yesterday, there was not really solid buying uh, going behind that move. So uh, this is one of those I want to give it a little more time to call it a, uh, a, a trend change. Uh, another area in the materials area, and that is your aluminum sector. And surprisingly enough, uh, it seems to be we're getting some rotation back into aluminum. So just keep this one on watch. Our MACD is crossing, going, going positive on the histogram. And we do have a positive cor correlation setting up here. Now on the bearish side, uh, some little warning signs we're having. Uh, our industrials seem to be bleeding a little bit lower versus the S&P 500. Our health care seems to be uh, under some selling pressure versus the S&P 500 uh, since uh, Trump uh, <coughs> shelved the uh, health care plan. Steel might be bottoming here, potentially. We got a MACD histogram that's going to be turning positive plus with a uh, cross on our signal lines. And if the heavy construction index is uh, showing us a positive suggestion, we could actually see steel following aluminum to the upside this week. Uh, another area to be concerned about, and that is our steel uh, railroad sector. Uh, we're coming up to a relative resistance area, and Friday there we were get we got a solid rejection out of that area. So uh, CSX is one the uh, railroad that's went up the most since the election. So I have it in watch. Uh, I do see that it's ready to break a trend line potentially. Uh, another area of concern is the auto sector. Um, there's significant talk about massive devaluation of the residual values, which can is not going to be supportive of the automotive stocks. Another area of great concern, and that's the airlines. Uh, we saw American Airlines catching some uh, dumping Friday. And the one that really stood out to me when I looked through them, we, you had Alaska Airlines and you also had Delta Airlines potentially breaking down this week. So transports in general not looking too good going into the first of the week. So if we do get some selling pressure, I would think transports would probably lead us. That's all I got to say, and uh, have a good trading day.